Hey all my creative cooking friends. In this video, we're going to be making creme brulee. Now I've made creme caramel a few times, but I have never tried creme brulee, but I've always been wanting to make that. So I thought I'd try my hand at pumpkin creme brulee. So let's get started. The nice thing about creme brulee is it can be done ahead. You can keep it in the fridge for a day or two and then pull it out before your guests arrive and do the brulee top and have a wonderful gourmet dessert. All right, first gonna preheat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and get some water boiling in order to preheat the ramekins and also for the water bath when we put the creme brulee into the oven. All right, don't be too hard on me. I'd prefer to use the real vanilla bean, but not having any, I opted for the liquid stuff. So maybe someday I'll try the bean, but for now I don't have it. First, I'm making the custard by beating the egg, salt, and sugar together for about two minutes. Also add in the liquid vanilla if you want at this time. Heat the heavy cream until it just starts to bubble around the edges. You don't want it boiling. You just want to bring it up to a simmer, stirring it constantly. Now, if there is a tricky step in making it, here it is. You want to slowly pour the heated cream into the egg mix while stirring it constantly. If you get too rambunctious, you'll end up with a lovely pumpkin flavored scrambled egg. This is called tempering the egg. Start slowly, then once the mix comes up to temperature, you can add the rest of the heavy cream. I want to make sure there are no chunks of pumpkin or eggs, so I'm straining it through a sieve. Since water can only get to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, it prevents the custard from cooking on the outside before the inside is done. That's why we do the water bath. Evenly pour the custard mixture into the preheated ramekins. Then you can pour the boiling water all around them into the baking dish. Cooking time will vary according to the dishes or ramekins that you use. Mine are about eight ounces, seven or eight ounces, and they took about 50 minutes. You can start checking them after about 40 minutes or so. They should be firm, but still have a little jiggle to them when you move the dish around. One way to check them is to insert a thin knife or a thin blade about one inch from the center and push it in, pull it back up. If it comes out clean and if you can get a clean separation in the custard, then it's probably done. Pull them out of the oven and carefully pull the dishes out of the water bath and put them on a cooling rack. You want to do this carefully. You don't want them slipping out of your hand. It's going to be pretty hot. Once they cool to room temperature, you can refrigerate them and then you can do the brulee. I left mine in the refrigerator overnight. Sprinkle about one to two teaspoons of sugar on top, shake it around and distribute it evenly. Again, don't do the brulee too early because you don't want it to soften. I'm using a generic hardware store. Yes, it's a propane torch used for plumbing because I don't have a kitchen torch, not yet anyway. When you torch it, keep the torch moving and after a while you see the sugar start to melt and then to caramelize and that's what you're after, that nice caramel color or caramel color. I've also heard of using the oven broiler, although I haven't tried that. If you broil it, set the dishes in a bath of ice water so that you keep the custard cool while the sugar melts on top. Watch it constantly and let me know how it comes out. Well, there you have it, a simple pumpkin brulee to wow your guests, a gourmet dessert made at home. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell for updates on new videos.